What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. In today's video we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the PlayStation 5, so stick around. Welcome back guys, and I'd first like to say that I went through a ton of trouble getting this PS5, so please be sure to drop a like rating down below, and do subscribe to the channel to be notified of future content on the PS5 including an in-depth comparison between the Xbox Series X. And also, I have got to get a wider angle lens, so I apologize for not being able to get the whole box in the frame. So with that being said, let's go ahead and cut open the seal. By the way guys, go ahead and comment down in the comments section below which games I should get for the PS5 as I am new to the PlayStation. So opening up the lid on the box, we do have another box on the inside. We'll go ahead and open up the lid to that and we are presented with a couple of accessories including the power cord as well as a quick start guide to help get you up and running with your new PlayStation 5. Also included is our HDMI to HDMI cable along with a USB-A to USB Type-C cable. Next up we have the new redesigned controller which I have to say I'm a big fan of. Now obviously the controller is a huge part of the experience due to the fact that it's what you physically interact with and I have to say once again I am a big fan of this controller. Next we get the included stand and when the PlayStation 5 is sitting on top of it it does help with heat dissipation. Now that we've got the accessories out of the way let's go ahead and get to the console which comes housed between two egg carton shaped pieces of cardboard wrapped in this protective packaging. And after removing the packaging I have to say that it is an extremely big machine and it's also pretty heavy. So as you can see we have I.O. ports there, we have our disc slot in the front, we also have a couple of ports but we will go over in the full review. We also have some uh, vents on the back. Again, heat dissipation is the name of the game when it comes to gaming consoles, especially when they're capable of pushing 8K content. Speaking of which, I'd just like to reiterate that it is capable of 8K content, it is capable of 4K content at 120 frames per second, and features high dynamic range. The PlayStation 5 comes with 10.28 teraflops of computational power. I do highly recommend using a HDMI 2.1 cable to take full advantage of that 8K connectivity. And with the PlayStation 5 you gain access to PlayStation Now, which I'm not too sure if I'm going to check it out, but I will take a peek and see if it's something worth subscribing to. I had a really tough time choosing between the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5, and there was several things that made me choose one over the other. However, I did pick up both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, which leads me to uh, my statement that I made earlier that I will be creating a head-to-head -head video and direct comparison between the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and letting you know which one you guys should purchase. So if you're interested in figuring out which one is the best console for your money, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you will be notified when that video drops. With that being said, go ahead and leave any questions that you might have for me about this PlayStation 5 that you would like to see me answer in that full review video, and I will go ahead and shout you out and also answer your question in that video. Now it's extremely tough, as you probably know by now, to get your hands on a PlayStation 5, so I will be updating the video description with the best possible places to pick one up at. So be sure to favorite this video and come back and check that video description to make sure and find a PlayStation 5. And I just quickly wanted to mention that I'm also on Twitter. Those are going to be the spots where you're able to connect with me at. I'm going to be at Review the Best as well as at Tech with Aaron HD. And also, if you're on Clubhouse, come follow me at Tech with Aaron and at Review the Best. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me in this video. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like rating down below. And also subscribe to the channel to be notified of future content. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron, and I'll see you guys on the next one.